Martha, Martha Washington, Washington by Michael Riley, Johnny Rice, and Kevin Blair. Martha Washington was born June 2, 1731. She was the eldest of nine children, including five sisters and three brothers. At a very young age, Martha was able to read and write. She later married Daniel Park Custis, who was a wealthy plantation owner, on May 15, 1750. He later died, and because he did not have a will, Martha inherited his plantation, his money, and his 300 slaves. After Daniel's death, because of the money she inherited, she became one of the wealthiest women in Virginia. Because money wasn't a problem, she was able to marry for love. Meanwhile, George Washington returned from the French and Indian War with a little bit of fame. But to get to the top, he needed one thing, money. And Martha Washington was the woman who caught his eye. After Martha and George got married in 1759, the colonies were getting more and more rebellious. They wanted independence. Since Martha lived in Virginia, she wasn't too exposed to rebellious events like the Boston Tea Party. But she didn't like the fact that she had to pay taxes to a country that she did not support. When George Washington was offered to be the leader of the Revolutionary War, Martha knew it would be risky, and she may not see him ever again, but it was for the betterment of her country. Although it was difficult for Martha to see her husband leave, she decided to do something good for the war too. So she traveled to Valley Forge where she helped the soldiers with illness and starvation. Martha Washington decided to create an organization called the Ladies Association to help support troops at Valley Forge. Martha created this organization to help gather clothing, blankets, and money for the soldiers. Martha Washington joined up with Martha Jefferson and collected over $300,000 for the organization. The result of these actions caused the soldiers at Valley Forge to keep pushing through and fighting. After the Americans won the revolution, they elected George Washington for president, which makes Martha Washington the first of the first ladies. Martha disliked the public life, yet she was a great hostess for parties and special events and set a very high standard for the future first ladies. With her becoming the first lady, she earned names like Lady Washington, first of the first ladies, and Our Lady President. Not long after he retired from presidency, George Washington passed away. Three years after George Washington's death, Martha died from a fever. Martha Washington still lives on through our monuments and our history today. She has also left an impression on all First Ladies, including Michelle Obama and many other women throughout history.